Next question is from Andy Penson. How do you deal with the weird looks you get doing the mobility sessions <laughs> in MAPS performance? Why does no one do walking or moving exercises normally? Do, did we? Uh, did we should we, ask Aaron Alexander. Did we put? Mm -hmm. um, yeah, I, I did a post like way long ago. I don't even know if it's still on there of doing froggers <laughs> in, the, in the gym. Uh, of, I did a video I was teaching it. Did we program that in uh, Maps Performance? Do you know froggers? Froggers are, are in the mobility. Yeah. Is it in there? Yeah. Okay, so yeah, that one looks really weird because it looks like you're humping the floor yeah. and yeah. it just. You know what? I tell you what. Some of the best results I ever got working out in the gym was when I stopped caring yes, about what of everybody course. always. Of when I cared so much about what people thought when I was working out, I would do the wrong lifts. I'd train too intensely, add too much weight, didn't do certain exercises because I wasn't good at them. So I don't want to use lightweight on them. And it was so stupid. And I had lots of clients that would have challenges with this. Oh, I, you know, I feel intimidated by working out and I'm a new beginner. And you know, what's funny working in gyms. I realize nobody cares. No, nobody really gives a not shit. Only it's that, all in your own head. Not only that, but I also think that uh, when you're the one person who's doing the different shit than everybody else, I think you look like you know more than everybody else. Yep. Everybody else is following each other. A bunch of parrots. Watch them and, start doing it. Yeah, copying each other and I stuff like that. I swear to God, this has happened every time. And so, yeah, I have a different attitude towards this because this was something that uh, was pretty funny because when I was on my own in training, like there wasn't a lot of other gyms that I could, you know, take my business to. And so the closest gym was Gold's Gym. Gold's Gym, everybody knows, pretty hardcore, like bodybuilding style right, gym, right? right. right? Here comes you know, here comes guy. Mr. Functional Guy, yeah. right? And, and I'm doing all these like crazy mobility moves. And so, uh, you know, I'd get all the looks and the scoffs and the, uh, you know, big bodybuilder. Right? The next and then week. They're starting to ask <laughs> yeah. me about it. Why are you doing that to your clients, bro? And, yeah. blah, blah. and so I, I was doing like crazy stuff stuff like I, I would do like inchworms and things like in the middle where everybody had to walk in yeah. and i'm just like dude not giving any so fucks. that's how i was i feel the same way too because i feel i mean of course you do know and i do know so like if you train with that confidence that you know what you're doing then i actually feel like you mm -hmm. look like the guy that knows more than everybody else because you're the guy who's doing something that everybody else and everybody goes over to the mirror yeah. and does bicep curls yeah. Every, yep. everybody goes to the bench press and does bench press but how often do you see somebody do a turkish get up off the floor and do it with good form you know Bro, what I'm saying? I, like, I used to deadlift in the late 90s when nobody deadlifted and members would stop me i'm a general manager you hurt your back yeah. yes yeah. <laughs> members would stop me what do you do you know here's my advice to first off you're there to train yourself. So remember that. You're not there for anybody 100%. else. So who cares about anybody else? So that's number one. Number two, here's a couple of things you could do. And I've, I've advised clients with this, people who really had issues with being intimidated. Uh, wear glasses and wear and cover yourself up. If you go to the gym in sweats, a hoodie, headphones, and sunglasses, you're in your own space. Do your own thing. Nobody gives a shit. It actually does change kind of that internal vibe. And sometimes I would do that even on my own because I like to be in my own space and pretend like well, it's just me. Everything but the sunglasses. Yeah, I, know. I used to train like that. That yeah, was yeah. especially during competitive time where I don't want any distractions. Exactly. I, don't, I don't want to talk to anybody. I would be fully hoodied out and big headphones on and head down. Like I just want to be in the zone. I don't yeah. want to be bothered by anybody. But your best results are going to are gonna start to happen when you stop caring about that. It, it's all about you, how you feel, what works for your body. Stop worrying about anybody else, and I promise your results will be much better versus when you're really concerned about you know everybody else. And I, you know, you can. By the way, uh, working in gyms for as long as I have, I mean, you can you can not only see but you can smell the people who come in who care what everybody thinks. It's like the, the girls that would come in, mm -hmm. perfume would just like stink up the whole gym and full on makeup and. They got the flash. None of them know what they're doing. Yeah, yeah dude. Or Don't the talk trash about them. I appreciate them. Yeah, right, right, <laughs> right. Yeah. Or the guy that's like, you Just know, got to make sure yeah. I load up this trap bar machine so everybody knows how much I could, you know, it's like, <laughs> all right, dude, nobody really cares. Nobody gives a shit. <laughs> nobody cares. Hey, if you enjoyed that clip, you can find the full episode here or you can find other clips over here and be sure to subscribe.